A multi-billion dollar project is underway in San Patricio County and the people behind this project offered local companies the chance to take part in its construction. Chris 6 News anchor Priscilla Torres joins us now in the studio with an update. Uh, Priscilla, talk to us about uh, local businesses. Did any of them take up that offer? Well, Steph, so far, Gulf Coast Growth Ventures, which is the joint project between ExxonMobil and Sabic, has already awarded 13 contracts. And of those 13, 12 were awarded to local businesses. Today, we spoke with one of them. So we were hired very early on um, uh, to help them conceptualize what the overall site would look like. Philip Ramirez and his architecture firm were one of the first local businesses to be hired by Gulf Coast Growth Ventures. Ramirez, who was born and raised in Portland, says it's always been a dream of his to work on a project of this magnitude. There's so many opportunities and obviously their commitment to the local job market and the local economy is, is obviously crucial for our continued success and economic growth. Here's a sample of what Turner and Ramirez Architects have done for Gulf Coast Growth Ventures so far. And the hard work from the local businesses has not gone unnoticed. Robert Tully, venture exec for Gulf Coast Growth Ventures, says the competition has been tough for all the national and local businesses competing for the work. They still have to compete. They still have to uh, have a, a price that, that uh, wins the bid. And uh, so far, I mean, we're, we couldn't be more pleased that, uh, that the local companies are, are winning these bids. But that's up to them. They're doing that part. The $10 million plant will be the world's largest ethane steam cracker plant. And aside from the jobs, it's already created for companies like Turner and Ramirez Architects. Once built, it'll employ more than 600 people, ranging in experience from high school diploma to executive positions. Tully says it's part of their promise to be a good neighbor in the community. We're not here for a year or two. We're here for the long haul. And we want to establish long running relationships with companies in the community. Construction on the plant is expected to begin in 2019 and be completed in 2021. Stephanie. All right. Thank you, Priscilla. And there will be a meeting on December 11th to discuss the plant's water permit. Reps from the uh, Gulf Coast Growth Ventures and TCEQ will be there. It's going to be held at Austin Elementary School in Portland.